Hey guys, welcome back to Frosted Text. So, I haven't done one of these in a while, so please forgive me if I kind of mess up or whatever, but we're gonna do another, uh, as you guys saw by the title, we're gonna do another basically a PC build basically to help you guys get on the track for editing or gaming, whatever it may be, and hopefully this build helps you at a pretty good budget. It's got a lot of good parts in it, so first off, let's start off with the CPU. So I chose the Ryzen 5, the new Ryzen 5 1600X. It's running at 3.6 gigahertz, it's got six cores, and it's only running about two and a quarter right now. So obviously in these types of builds, guys, your GPU and your CPU are gonna be the most expensive parts of your build, and the reason why is because there's a lot going on. That's your brain, and your power, basically. So everything else just has to deliver the power to it, basically. Your storage, your power supply, the case. I, case really doesn't matter. I mean, yeah, you want it to look good. But anyways, let's move on to the motherboard. Actually, uh, first off, the, the CPU cooler is the H Hyper 212 Evo from uh, Cooler Master. And uh, then moving on to the motherboard, we have the B MSI B350 PC Mate. This is an ATX board running an AM4 socket, and it's only got about $72. It only costs about $72, which isn't too bad for a decent motherboard. So moving on to the RAM, we have, I decided to go with Crucial. It's kind of your basic run-of-the-mill RAM. It doesn't have anything, and no special looks about it or anything like that, but uh, it's Crucial 8 gigabytes, 2133 megahertz, and it's only running 69 bucks right now. So for some 2133 megahertz um, DDR4 RAM and eight gigabytes of it for, what is it, like 69 bucks? That's pretty cheap, guys, come on. <laughs> I paid, I think it was like $360 for my 16 gigabytes of DDR4 Corsair Dominator. So, and that was almost a year and a half ago. So prices have definitely come down on DDR4 since then. This is when DDR4 was fairly new. Um, so moving on to the GPU, we chose the EVGA GTX 1060. It is a small form factor card. Uh, it's the six gigabyte version. There are other versions of it out there. This one's got the ACX 2.0 cooler, only running about 270 bucks right now. Fluctuates between about 280 to 260, somewhere in that price range, depending on where you can find it. Uh, I'm gonna have all Amazon links for you guys down below in the description, so make sure you guys go check those out. And whatever else, whatever other shopping you guys do on Amazon, it benefits the channel because I get a little bit of a kickback from that and it's pretty nice because I don't buy anything for the channel unless I have money on that account. So anyways, moving on to the case, I went with the Deep Cool Tesseract. Uh, this is a mid-tower case. It includes fans and LEDs and it's only running 35 bucks, so pretty cheap. Uh, you can usually find it, I think the lowest I've ever seen it is $32.99 and because uh, I keep an eye on a lot of this stuff for you guys because I haven't done one of these videos in a long time and I've really been wanting to, I've just been too busy with life and things that are going on. Uh, we just went through Labor Day weekend and my, my work was really busy. Uh, so power supply, we went with the Corsair Builder 600 watt power supply. Not really much to say there guys, I use, I use the Corsair Builder series whether it's the 500 the 600 or the 750 or something like that. I, I use those power supplies in all of my builds and you guys should be pretty used to them by now if you guys have ever watched these videos. So for the hard drive, uh, fi final, last but not least, the hard drive, I went with the Western Digital, uh, one terabyte. You can either choose Caviar Black or Caviar Blue. Now Caviar Blue is gonna be good at pretty much everything except for NAS drives and stuff like that. And Black is gonna be good for transferring um, you know, getting your gameplay onto there. Uh, but if you're looking at not doing much gameplay and transferring of files, then I'd go with the Caviar Blue. Both of them fluctuate between that $40 to $60 range. I think these are running about $53 or $49, somewhere in that tight little range. Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed the video and you thought it was helpful, make sure you leave a like and a comment down below. Also, click the subscribe button, and then right next to the subscribe button, there's a bell notification to keep up to date with all of my upcoming videos. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Stay frosty.